Hello, hello, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we saved all the passengers of the XS Express from the Smorg, whatever they are, and we arrived safely at our destination of Poshley Heights. However, we were unfortunately too late because as soon as we stepped into the Poshley Sanctum, we saw Beldum and company already there stealing the Crystal Star. Or so we thought. Uh, it turns out, according to Pennington, who is uh, just beyond these doors, that that particular Crystal Star was a fake. So now we have to find the real one. And then, uh, I guess we'll be getting on with the story of this game, and of course, if you don't want to miss any of that, then I highly suggest you consider bashing that subscribe button. So yeah, here's the uh, here's the window that they broke in through. I guess uh, it is not an exit I can use. But this room is full of these uh, curtain rods that we can sort of shimmy our way across. And there are stars on the ground that tell us where they are located. So if we just go from star to star, eventually we'll get there, but there's also hidden things. There are a number of hidden things here, actually. Uh, maybe that number is two. I don't remember exactly, but hey, it's something. Okay, there's nothing else on this side. We can... Uh, I missed, okay. But we can go up here. Mario, please, you're making this difficult. There. Oh, I can't go across to the other side uh, in that manner. But what I can do is fly across in style, and there's nothing here, right? No. Okay, across we go. Come along, Bobbery. We just need to go right here. Huh. Now, why would there be that lower level there unless there is something hidden here? There is nothing hidden here. It is uh, simply to catch people who are not as good at Airplane Mario as I am. Alright, up we go. And up we go. And let's see what this switch does, because there's nothing else over here, right? I probably should have been paying closer attention. There isn't. Marvelous. So, all the way over to the far side to hit this inconveniently placed switch. Ah! Oh. I see, I see. Well, down I go. Ah ha ha, clever, clever, clever. It is hidden in the background. Oh my, uh, there are also enemies back here. New enemies, I do not believe. I have seen the uh, purple booze. And what I can do is just walk right up to the crystal star, but uh, this is probably where the hidden stuff is. Mario doesn't turn around very fast in this game. How much health you got? Less than eight. Good. Let's tattle on a dark boo. And gotcha! That's a dark boo! Purple just looks uh, so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is eight. Attack is five. Defense is zero. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. I will try. Oh, I failed. I failed to get it before it turns invisible. Uh, what do I do? Here, you go up first. Uh, and let's let's just defend. Because five damage is a lot. And that is definitely something I've noticed about this game, as opposed to the first Paper Mario. Uh, these enemies do a lot of damage. But hey, I guess it's worth it. We got six star points out of the deal. Uh, and, a, and a few few coins. So am I gonna fight all of these boos? The answer is no. Now that sounds like a lot of work and most of them aren't particularly interested in fighting me. Uh, 
Yes, go away, please. I... Oh, I need out! I need to get out of here! Okay, you might be a problem. I might have to get rid of that one. Nope. No, I don't. It's fine. We're safe. Now, to do a little exploring. Yes, there is a badge way up there. Uh, can I get it from this side? Maybe. Ah, and there is a shine sprite. Okay, so those are both things that I thought were in here. Is there a third item? Is there anything at all on the other side of this room? Uh, I wonder. I don't see anything looking over there. Got a shine sprite. That's pretty cool. Definitely have enough for at least one more partner upgrade. And let's get this mysterious L badge. Okay, Mario, take the L. What is it? It is the L emblem. Change Mario's clothes into Luigi's clothes. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Very, very useful badge. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to do that so that I can jump. No, no, no. So, curiosity is getting the better of me. What is on this side of the building? Anything? The heck? Why is there an airplane pad? I get I guess just so that it matches the uh, the other side of this building, the real world, not the painting. Yeah, there is nothing here. Most curious indeed because we don't even need to take that airplane to get the stuff on the other side. Oh well, makes it easier for me. We have got ourselves another crystal star. Star power is now seven, and Mario can now use the special attack showstopper. End of chapter. And the curtains close on chapter six. Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. And I will save all progress up to this point. Yes, very good. Uh, oh, I guess, uh, I guess we are just going right back to wherever Pennington is. Uh, don't mind me, don't mind me just passing through. You, uh, go about your business here. I wonder, is there a, is there a star piece in the ground somewhere? There probably is, but, uh, I am not going to search the entire building. Oh, look, he's waiting for us. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hmm, so that is where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, just, uh, talking to my brain. Uh, all geniuses do it, yes. So, congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. Uh, I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I am sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Oh, I won't. Don't you worry about that. And I won't even try to escape through your broken window. I will take the door, like a civilized plumber. And I guess this marks the end of Mario's part in this chapter. Meanwhile... What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star, that's asinine! Nice choice of words. Aw, oh, sorry dude, I mean sir. So, let me guess, this means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, maybe? Ah. Uh, this mustached menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine! 
but I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Uh, before you do, uh, Sir Grotus, I uh, think I'd better tell you something. Uh, what is it, fool? Uh, that was unnecessary. Mumble, mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. Uh, uh, affirmative, sir, dude. Uh, that is, I'm uh, positive, sir. Ah, treason. Uh-oh. Um, huh, I wonder who the treasonous one is. Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Is this like a scheduled thing now? Maybe he's busy. Or maybe not. Oh, here we go. I guess we're just heading over that way. Uh, and again, walking down this hallway. You know, the game probably could have skipped this. I could have cut it out of the episode, too. But I didn't. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. Oh? A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And... I cannot confirm what I should believe. Ah, uh, Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please, escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? I'm starting to like it here. The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say. But, I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... Ah, oh, you're not gonna let me in on the secret, are you? Or you, kind people in the audience. No, no way, it's... Impossible! I don't believe it! Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. Except what I hid from you earlier in this very conversation. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? What a twist. You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That one? That is correct. The very same. Uh, but that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? Good question. There is a way. You can escape. But you must follow my instructions, exactly. Uh, but Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. Uh, but I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Oh, was that the door? Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Who said that? Eek! Ooh, busted. Oh, it's uh, Grotus himself. Tech, you miserable machine! We all know what you're up to, traitor! Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? I am going to press the power button, turning him off. 
ha ha ha! Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Oh yeah, antivirus. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... Uh, I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down tech. x not At the same time, press the red buttons on tech sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail. Sent. Dot, dot, dot. Princess Peach. I. Oh. Oh. V. Eh. Y. Oh. Ooh. Dot, 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 dot. And that is all he could manage to say. Goodbye, Tech. Deletion complete. Tech! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Too bad Princess Peach Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast! How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! <laughs> well, clearly these x knots did not watch that one episode of Star Trek Next Generation. You know the one. Anyway... Yes, things have turned out not so well for Princess Peach. And apparently Bowser's uh, back in Rogueport. Alright. Oh, I have got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was, well, wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? Ah, uh, ever a rough day for poor Bowser. This keeps up. Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual. Your massiveness! I imagine this is Cammy. Yes, it is. We did it! The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Hmm, about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. Yep, everything's turning up Bowser. The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem, direct me there, I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby! Very true, if anyone can do it, probably him. Oh, hey Luigi. Yeah, don't you worry about it. Get back to your own very real adventure. Ooh, right! It's another one of these, ready to roll. Ooh, this one is a, uh, is a dungeon level. Okay, don't get burned, Bowser. Can I even make that jump? Barely, but yes. Okay, come on, we can do this, we can do this. I like how tiny the, uh, the fire things have to be. Oh, well, that was short-lived. But yeah, how tiny the fire things have to be in order for Bowser to get by. No! I can't get in! And this fire thing is very much not tiny. Now I look like a liar. Uh, although my nose is not part of my hitbox. Oh, you! Get out of here! I need... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well, I guess, uh, oh? Am I done? Am I done? Really? I feel like I missed a lot of things there. I want to see what I missed. No, this x knot is going to beat me up. Come on, come on. I did that on purpose. Let me at him! I want to see what all is in there. Because that was far too short of a level. 
Okay, you can jump this, no problem. And these just sort of go round. Ooh, that was kind of close, actually. Okay, I'm gonna make it go this way. I can't make it go this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Squashed them both. So how do I get in there? I see coins, among other things. Can I destroy the... I can destroy that. Interesting. No. No, no, no. Nothing from you. I need that. Yeah. And I still can't destroy these. Oh, I have to be Tiny Bowser to get those coins. Uh-huh. I see, I see. Uh, Bowser? Um, oh. You weren't supposed to do that, Bowser. Uh, I, I think you might have... Might have destroyed an important pipe. Oh, well. Perhaps that truly is all there was to see. Can I just, like, plow through everything? Yeah. Boom! Who needs flagpoles? I guess it's about time I actually finished as Massive Bowser. I don't think I've done that yet this playthrough. Now then, where are we? Oh, Cammy, you doing okay back there? Incredible, Lord Bowser, nothing stood in your way except that one x naught that once you couldn't be more super. Please, no problem, I felt right at home. But, uh, where are we now? Gracious me, look, Lord Bowser, on the wall behind you. What is it? What is it? Oh. Hello, could it be? Aw, oh, yeah, a crystal star. Advantage Bowser. <laughs> At last we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps. Now, who could this be? I do wonder. Ah, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk, brother! You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles, you forgot this hugeness! Are you talking to me, the player? You're pointing right at me. Don't ask me how, but you cleared my sick, uh, secret training facility! Not too shabby, brother! I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level! You're good! Of course, good don't count for squat in this biz, babe! My champ's belt is mine! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh look, what an adorable little weakling! Hi, fella! Weak? Wait, what? Well, uh, tell me something, you ever see a weakling do this? Pain... Ouch! Ah! Well, there we go. Uh, Rockhawk, still not quite all he's, uh, cracked up to be. Ah, now you're sleeping! I knew you were a weakling! Oh. Well, uh, the crystal star... Hmm? Oh, it's split in two! Oh, no, 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 no! Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Wait, hold the phone? My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass! It's a flim-flam, a fake! Whoa, what? Oh, speak English! You want the real one? Uh, the great uh, Gonzalez has it! Oh, my aching hair! Feel the rock, brother. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Aw, oh, crud. Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Ah, uh, poor Bowser. Uh, also, Rockhawk definitely just has a framed portrait of Jolene in his uh, training room. Little strange. But there we go. So the uh, camera turns back to Mario, who is just arriving now aboard the XS Express. I am glad it didn't make us take the three-day train ride back and watch the entire thing. Uh, oh, Mario, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. I mean, it could be from anyone. Mario. 
Uh, I know where I'm being held. Oh, good. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. Uh, and I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster's spirit, they need my... The moon? Oh, that's totally nuts. Princess Peach is on the moon? I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool, but why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened to her, do you? Hmm, I wonder. Uh, oh, hey, Luigi, uh, and friend. Uh, what, what have you been up to? Well, guess what I found in Rapturous Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty insane, bro. Want to hear what happened? Nope. Oh, really? You're lost, bro? Well, maybe some other time. So, now that we have returned to Rogueport, of course we have to go down into the sewers and uh, find the door and have it point us toward wherever we need to go next. But we definitely don't have time for that in this episode, so let's just take care of a couple things in this screen first. Uh, for one, has the graffiti changed? Mustache guy is back from Keel Hall Key. I wanna go. Who cares if I get cursed? A guy who wants to make some easy money. Well, I don't know how you're gonna make easy money in Keel Hall Key. And how about you? What do you have for sale today? The W emblem, which unfortunately I can't buy. Uh, but we got the L emblem that makes us look like Luigi. And that is the W emblem that makes us look like Wario. I do wonder what happens if you wear them both. It is a mystery. Uh, and just so that we uh, don't go searching for this later, um, yep, this thing that has been standing there hiding in plain sight for the entirety of this playthrough so far, uh, it is actually a giant chest that contains an ultra hammer. A nice little upgrade. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again, Heart. Uh, way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Now let's practice it right away. Uh, just like with the Super Hammer, so no prob. Hold down B, rotate until your body gets twisty, then release to use your Ultra Hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you do this, and you twist up a little, and woo, round and round we go. Way to go. You got it. Want to try again? Uh, no, I got it. All right. You've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you could even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Nice. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, you look sad. Ah, uh, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I get to see you, Mario. Oh, no. Uh, definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And be careful on your quest, okay? Aw. Well, all right. Don't worry, Toadette. For you, for you, I will complete this adventure and save Princess Peach. I wouldn't have done it otherwise, Goombella. So, anyway, though, that will bring us to the end of this episode, so I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I hope you join me again next time for the next exciting episode of this. Till then, ta-ta.